Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. First of all, I'd like to apologize to you guys for not uploading any tutorials for at least four weeks. That's due to the fact once I uploaded all my old tutorials, I need a little break in between. And uh, I also want to say that if you want to keep yourself updated regarding the tutorial series, please do check out my Facebook channel. The link is in the description below. And I always post things they relate to tutorials first so you know what's going on anyways guys today I'm gonna to be showing you a simple little bug fix well it's not a bug it's kinda of my fault it's to do with the laser side now if I run this I'll quickly show you what I'm talking about now if you look at the laser side it looks fine and so does the dot but once you start moving your mouse the dot starts to follow the mouse's speed and that's not what we want we want the dot to stay at the end of the laser side so I'll quickly show you what I mean if I go look at the floor for a second Oops. and if I move it you can see that that little dot moves up and down we don't want that we want to stay in its position so first of all let's just open our laser point laser side script sorry and we'll fix that right away I have to rename that cube okay right so there we go now these lines over here I'll zoom in for you guys because I know my screen resolution is a bitch and it makes it very hard to see whoa okay right so right here line 47 laser dot dot transform dot position equals hit point now I want to get rid of this I'm going to comment that out I'm going to comment it out from line 57 67 your lines might be different if you added some things uh, where is it laser dot right here remove that one and that one what you want to do is in fact go in into late update and underneath endpoint equals hit point just put laser dot dot transform equals hit dot point is it hit yeah and that should solve that small issue oops I forgot something dot position and that will fix that that will keep the dot glued to the laser site so we're gonna quickly test that out okay so if I look down if I start to move around oh the goddamn idle animation hold on there you go. You see that? The dot does not move away anymore because it stays in the late update and it's not constantly being updated. So that's what we wanted. And that was my fault. So sorry about that, guys. But if you do want your dot to stay how it was to follow the laser site, just leave it in the update function. And yeah, that's that. Um, before I do end this tutorial, I want to show you guys something in another file project. Or another scene, sorry. If I can find it. I did. I forgot to put this in my um, update video, so I'm going to show it to you guys now. All right. Okay. Okay. Stop. All right. Just give me one second. Where is it? Alright, what I forgot to show you guys was cinematics and um, if I did, I'm sorry but if I didn't, I don't think I did, I want to show that off right now. So what it is, is basically once you hit something, a certain point in the game, you want something to play and I'm going to show you that right now. So my pad's on and you're going to see a pop-up message that says my pad's on, so you will see it on the top, like so. There you go, controller connected, that's that. And okay, if I, you know, disconnect it disconnected it tells you but the thing is this little neat feature has a little issue as well uh, it's something to do with the files when you build the game the controller support stuff should work but I'm finding what's wrong with that uh, as soon as I figure it out the joypad tutorial will be up soon okay so right 
as you can see the guys shivering or whatnot I'm gonna walk into the little spot and a little cutscene plays all I have to do is interrupt this cutscene in order to enable it so it says press E to pick up phone you press E it starts to play the cutscene Fred and Fred. um I can't hear you Fred this is all Fred. done with a special rig Shit. thanks to Ronaldo this is also this rig is also going to be used in my game as well so. It's a pretty neat rig. Okay, and then the cutscene is about to finish. Once the cutscene finishes, everything gets enabled again. You can walk around and whatnot again. There you go. Also, I do want to mention to you guys that if you look at the health bar, you can see you got the health beat sign. I'm not sure if you call it that or whatnot. But yeah, and uh, as you can see, if the health, health decreases, the heartbeat sound starts to play. That's also what I'm going to be covering. And if you notice, once you enter the cutscene trigger, it removes itself and it's no longer playable. Otherwise, if you walk in the same spot again and again, it'll keep playing. We don't want that to happen. So, yes, there you go, guys. And um, this will be coming up very shortly as well. I promise you that. Once I get other tutorials done, I will upload this as well. And guys, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take it easy.